Today I'm going to take this bleach blonde natural and I am going to relax her hair and the end result will be this. If you would like to see how I do it, sit back, relax, and I'll be back in a minute. Every single day. Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika aka Ms. Magic back with another hair video. Today I will be doing a relaxer and cut and style on one of my longtime clients. She is bleached blonde. But first, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit that notification bell for when I upload a new video. I upload weekly. If you are coming back, welcome back. I'm glad you're here and we're going to enjoy this video. I'll give you the backdrop on this client. She is blonde. She has been blonde for 20 plus years. Um, we go back and forth. She wears it natural sometimes and then she wants it relaxed and curled. So we relax it and we cut it and we style it. Um, she knows the what blonde does to hair she does not care she wants blonde that's what she is going to get so before any relaxer what you do is you section the hair and you use a type of scalp protectant and you base the, the scalp with the scalp protectant all over the hair the nape and the hairline and the edges I will list below what I use before y'all say anything about my ashy hands they stay ashy, especially on Saturdays when I have a lot of clients. I'm constantly in water. Yes, I know my hands are ashy. I'm sorry if it offends you. All right, guys, let's get started on this relaxer. My son is bothering me. Okay, let's get started. Um, this is a full relaxer. We are relaxing her whole head. She, When she gets her hair relaxed, she wants her hair bone straight. So she hates her curls when she gets her style. She loves her curl when she's wearing the natural. But when she gets a, a style, she wants her hair straight. Everybody does not have to get their hair bone straight. That's just how she wants it. So what I'm doing is putting the relaxer all through the head. And then because it is short, you simply just smooth it down. Uh, part by part, smooth it down until you see that there are no more waves. S pattern, C pattern, whatever. You want it to be straight. Number one, straight. So that is what I'm doing with her hair. This process is, depending on how short her hair is, her hair is pretty short, and it's thin, so this is not going to take more than six, seven minutes to process. If their hair is thicker, it'll be 10 to 12, um, depending on the length as well. Quick fun fact, before Corona, I was videotaping every client. Something told me, just videotape everything. It doesn't matter. And then Corona happens. And guess what? I got so much footage I don't know what to do with. So I thank I don't thank Corona, but thank God that I'm able to have videos to upload to YouTube while I am taking a my a, a break from work. Okay, once our hair is fully processed, we're gonna wash, decondition, and here's the the bone straight look that she was asking for. Okay, so now guys, what I'm going to do is do a quick pre-trim before she goes under the dryer. So I'm going to get all that hair off, take the hair off the back, take the hair off the sides. Because she is naturally thin up top, it has nothing to do with the blonde or, um, or the relaxer. That's just how her hair is, it's thin up top. So I'm leaving as much up top as possible um, and just trimming her sides and back. 
and then her edges a little bit. She wants it straight. She doesn't want any hair on her neck or uh, she wants her back trim real low. So that's the way we're going to do the styles. Like I said, this is a pre-cut. When she comes from the dryer, I will cut some more of her. Okay, after I've done the pre-cut, I'm going to take my foam wrap, which I will list below, and mold her hair down, and then use neck strips to secure it, put her under the dryer, um, because she just got a relaxer, it is not going to take her hair more than 5 to 10 minutes to dry, so that's fun, because nobody likes the dryer. Alright, so now these are the end wraps and papers, and she's going to go under the dryer. Okay, and through the magic of television, she is dry. Okay, so now, now that it's dry, I can see much better. And I am going to finish her cut up, um, even it up, and make sure whatever I miss, grab. And I am going to um, shape her up in the back with my clippers. Go around, yeah, let me go around her ears first. I'm going to even out what I see that I haven't evened and uh, trim her back and... You'll see. Just watch the cut. In case y'all didn't know, this uh, procedure is called scissor over combs. Very good for um, tapering the back. So, yeah. Scissor over combs. If you did not know what that is called. I usually do this before I do the clippers. And that just gives me a better look of what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm just going throughout her head, clipping off the dead ends, like I said before. Her hair is thin in the top, so I want to leave as much of the top look as possible. So what I'm doing is just trimming the back and the sides, and then I'll take just a little bit off her top, just to make sure that it is even. Um, you must trim the dead ends when doing a short cut, or the curls will look crazy and they will not last. So if you are doing anybody with a shortcut, I don't care if they've been gone for just two weeks, they're still going to need a little trim. That's what, that is the secret to keeping a hairstyle. She may be pretty, she may be smart, she may be funny, she's changed your broken heart, I'll never be her. And now I just taper the back with my clippers. Um, there's no rhyme or reason of how I do it. It's just something that you learn over practice over the years. Um, and it takes a lot of practice. Just don't go in thinking you know how to line somebody's hair up just because you watched a quick video by Miss Magic. It takes practice, honey. I 
And superstars, if you have any questions of why I did this and what did I do that for and how do I do this and why you did you do this, please, please, please feel free to comment below. I answer all questions. Um, I have no problem with that. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I will answer anything. Okay, guys, we're going to get right into curling her hair. I will be curling her whole head with the Marcel irons. Um, if you need to know how to test your Marcel irons to make sure they're okay for someone's hair, um, I did do a tester in one of my videos. Um, I will use the clip card right there so you can see which video that is. Um, now, disclaimer, for blonde hair, the curling iron has to be cooler it cannot be super hot the blonder the hair is especially on african american hair um the easier it is to burn so you must be a professional if you're going to use marcel irons on blonde hair you, you got to be a professional to use marcel irons anyway but that is the disclaimer and now to finishing up this style and look I'm still fucking boss with this burden. Everything I serve it like a bird. Like Russian, Dutch, and German. Float it, make me nervous. In that juicy bag in 22s, look a murderous. I pop my shoulder. That picture gave exposure. Got peace like Oprah. My patience is bipolar. I thought, I told you, don't prep me or I'll roll you. I won't be tolerating shit from nobody. Cut. Alright superstars, we are finishing up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy making videos for you guys. 
Um, so once again, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because I upload often. And I don't just do my hair cells at work. I do pressing. I not pressing pills. I do silk press on my own hair. Just just check out my channel. I got a lot going on. Check out my channel. But thank you guys for watching. Here it is. I got a few pictures of the finished look. In just a second. Let's see here. Yep, there it is. The finished product. So she'll wear this for about three weeks and then she'll dye it bleach blonde again and she'll keep that look until she's ready to cut it again. So guys, love you guys. I will see you in the next video. You all be safe.